What's going on YouTube? Dave here from Signalmore.com. So today we talk a little bit more about Azure. I have a couple of servers that I've stood up. I have my little domain in the Azure cloud. And today we're going to enable PowerShell remoting from my local machine that is not on the domain, if that makes sense. I'm not an Azure expert, but it appears to me that to in order to stand up an Active Directory domain that you can connect to in the cloud from a remote location, you have to pay extra for that. And, you know, for development purposes, for what I'm doing, there's no need to pay for it. But I do want to have PowerShell remoting capability from local machine to cloud VM. So what we're going to do is create a cell sign certificate on the virtual machine in the cloud. We're going to import it on the local machine and that way we can get authentication to enable or to do PowerShell remoting. Okay, so let's get started. A couple things that you need to understand uh, with the Azure VM. So first things first, you'll need to enable PowerShell remoting. In my case, I'm using Windows Server 2012 and 16 already done. Uh, you'll need to know the IP address of your virtual machine. If you don't set the public IP statically, it will change every time you turn it off, turn it back on. Uh, you can set it statically, but you have to pay more for that. I just leave mine as uh, DHCP and then I track it every time I turn it on. Not a big deal in my case. Uh, we have to create a rule in a network security group in Azure to allow uh, WinRM. Then we create our self sign certificate, export it to the desktop. We're going to create a firewall rule on the Azure VM. And then we're going to install the certificate on my local machine here. And then next thing is connect. So let's see how we do this. So here I have my virtual machine. I've already enabled PS remoting. I already know the IP address. So if you're trying to connect to this virtual machine after this video is put out, you won't be able to. It'll change. Don't worry about it. Uh, next thing I need to do is take a look at network security group rule. So in the Azure console, you're going to go down here to network security groups. This is mine named NSG. So by default, none of these inbound rules are here. So I allowed, I already have the rule in here, allow WinRM TCP 5986. That's as simple as that. And then just make sure it's applied to your interface on your virtual machine. All right, so the PowerShell goodness. Let's create our self signed certificate. And the good thing about these Azure virtual machines is you can copy and paste from your local desktop to inside the virtual machine. just like that okay and you see there is our certificate so I'm gonna copy that minimize my virtual machine I'm gonna paste it on my desktop so certificate is good to go next thing is we'll create this firewall rule on the virtual machine and where did my virtual machine go there it is okay i already have that ver that rule in there so good to go there so now we just need to import this certificate on the client and it, i don't know if you could see that so there's my certificate I'm not sure why my screen just went black but okay And I'm going to go to local machine. Yes. And it's basically next, next, next. So there's my import is successful. I'm going to go back to my code here. And then I use this bit of code here to set up the remote session on my exchange server in this case. So this is the IP address, port number. I'm going to type in my credentials and let's see if it works. 
this is my domain name. Cross your fingers. There you go. So now we're PowerShell into the remote server. So if I do a host name, that's my exchange server. And I'm logged into that domain. Pretty simple, particularly if you don't have very many virtual machines and you're not using them in a production environment. In a production environment, this is probably not the best way to do it. Uh, you can do it with a key store and all the widgets that run in Azure. But again, you have to pay more. So for me, this is the easiest way. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up, sharing with your buddies, your friends, your mom, your dad, whoever, and obviously subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.